Fendi Stadium looking at absolute picture. Double header today. We've seen a cracking encounter in the afternoon fixture. And tonight it is match number 24 of the HBL Pakistan Super League Islamabad United up against the Multan Sultans. The uh, Shadab Khan won the toss and invited Multan Sultans to bat first. And uh, Shah Massoud got them away with a couple of pleasing boundaries. Rizwan was uh, very much the aggressor in that opening partnership, opening up that favoured leg side on multiple occasions. Boy, that one sounded pretty sweet. He was then uh, ended by Shadab. Excellent catch by Azam Khan behind the stumps and a really good breakthrough. Skipper versus skipper. Sean kept on going. Kept finding the boundary, increased his strike rate. Riley Rousseau was unable to uh, provide any real fireworks. He struggled to get going, just 15 from uh, 15 deliveries from him. But uh, Sean kept on rolling, bringing up his ninth half century in uh, HBL PSL cricket. Then the entry of Tim David. We've had to wait a while for him to appear in the tournament, but it was well worth the wait. Four consecutive sixes uh, off the bowling of Rays, and it was uh, a welcome return to the HBL for the big Aussie. Shadab eventually hold out to Wazim Juna out there at deep mid-wicket and uh, Tim David was left to carry on the onslaught. He went past 50, 60 from just 27 deliveries for him before he was ended by uh, an excellent catch by the captain Shadab down there at long off. Miller was unable really to uh, to get going. He and Curran Pollard barely had any deliveries to face at the back end of the innings. Munro taking the catch at the end of the innings. And, uh, well, Multan Sultans will be very pleased. They've been a good team setting targets and defending them. Islamabad will feel that they are an excellent side at chasing them down. All in all, we should have an excellent second half for you as they try to make 206 at a rate of just above 10 and over. Right, let's head outside, find out what's going on with Aaron Holland and Nick Knight. Five for five, the Multan Sultans put on. So 206 was the chase required. Romanula Gurbaz and Alex Hales started things off and only got to 17 before Alex Hales lost his leg bail. Courtesy of a lovely slower ball, the second slower ball was the end of Romanula Gurbaz. Good catch this by Ilias at point. And then uh, Munro and Shadab took the score from 32 through to 91 with a, a really nice partnership. And some quality, a couple of quality boundaries in particular from Shadab Khan, a big six down the ground from Munro. And then he was undone by Osama Mir with a quicker one that clipped the top of the off bail. Yeah, you think about Azam Khan as well. So you thought at this juncture, two wickets from Osama Mir, and they were in the driving seat, no doubt, with a Sultan. And then this as well. Shadav got to 44 and then got knocked over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just kept tumbling at the right time. Slower ball, Asim Ali had to go. And they couldn't quite get this over the fence. Miller in the way. And you just felt just wickets at times that LBW kept them in the hunt. And that was just genius. There it is. Unlucky, sure, but that is the shot of the night. That little scoop flick, whatever you want to call it, quite brilliant from Fahim Ashraf. And Pollard couldn't stop that, and he couldn't catch this. Had to be in close to stop the single, but the winning of the game, Fahim Ashraf for those in red. <laughs> what a game, what a night. So, in terms of the summary in match 24, a lovely little outing there of uh, timing and precision of that uh, 205 versus 209, a win by two wickets, a ball remaining.